Welcome to Intimate Occasions. My name is Brian Scott, or Chef B for those of you who've had my cooking. We're here in fabulous downtown St. Louis, witnessing the rebirth of a city. There are all kinds of lofts and condos being built here in downtown, and that means people young and old are being reintroduced into city life. That means restaurants and shopping, and nothing says downtown St. Louis like Casa Simplice. Let's check it out. about being downtown is the fact that I'm in a new community where it's actually developing. When we look at where we want to put stores, it's in communities that are underserved. Uh, and St. Louis is completely underserved. There is no other kitchenware store in the entire city of St. Louis. And you can expect to be greeted by somebody who knows what they're talking about and who wants to help you figure out what you need and give you the right thing for what your needs are. You can also expect to be sold a high quality product that you only buy one. And we carry things, a lot, a lot of stuff from Europe and other places that uh, you just don't find anywhere else. You can probably say that this can become a destination spot for We think it is a destination spot, as a matter of fact. And actually, we are uh, putting together a demonstration kitchen to make it even more so. Uh, we could come in with friends and, and cook a four-course meal, enjoy some, enjoy some wine, and actually spend some time with it. You know, the name of the store is Casa Simplice, which is simple home in Italian. We want to simplify the way you live. We want to give you something that makes it easier for you to be at home and enjoy cooking and entertaining. That's what we're all about. This is my baby. You know, I, I developed this concept, and I've watched it grow, and I'm proud of it. If you love to cook or just want to check out the store, Casa Simplice is located at 419 North 10th Street in downtown St. Louis. When we come back, I'll introduce you to one of the most distinctive voices in St. Louis. We're in the home of someone very special today. We listen to her every weekday on our drive home. For 11 years, her voice has been riding along with us in our cars. Carol Daniel is one of the most recognizable voices in St. Louis radio. As the afternoon anchor for KMOX Radio, it is her job to report the news to people daily. Let's take a look. I'm Carol Daniel, a Southwest Missouri girl pulled from the lake after reportedly being tossed in. The one o'clock report continues. Plenty of sunshine today, right now sunny and 78 at the Voice of St. Louis. Top of news. People who like news talk radio uh, generally may like to debate. Um, they want to know what's going on in the world. They have an opinion generally. And so if what is said on the air doesn't jive with what they happen to feel, then they're going to call or write. Hi, Eric. It's Stephanie Thomas. And our trivia bus call our newsroom. Yeah, we're trying to settle a bet. Who said what in 1986? And, and God, the internet, because you're going, Google, enter, you know. Yeah, so it, it, it is challenging. The Dow Connect with Jones is off 24 points. The NASDAQ is ahead on three. Okay, Carol, so we're here in the kitchen. Yes, we are. Good, good. Where, where I spend a lot of time. A lot of time, right? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, my God, you're a mother, you're, you know, you got a spouse, you got a busy, you know, life. How do you fit it all in? How do you get an intimate occasion in, in the middle of mm. all of that chaos? The answer that I most often get is barely. I, I know we got something quick here, so, I, you know, why don't you go ahead and kind of tell me what we're going to be working with today? What well, do you my husband loves shrimp, and so does my six-year-old, Marcus. Marcus, you want to come over here? And my 10-year-old loves pasta. Ah, okay. So a lot of meals end up being cooked. Come on in here, Marcus. Come on in here, Marcus. Come here. This is, this is, this is Jethro. We, you know, he, he's the one who will eat anything, and okay. he has been asking all day. Like shrimp, huh? 
Yeah. And crab legs oh, and lobster. He like he loves everything. Uh, that's so unusual. So this is something that I know that he, the three of us, will eat. Yes. And our fourth one will eat the pasta and a the salad. There you go. So everybody, so you, make it you make it absolutely functional. All right. So you got shrimp and, and you got to do a, a light saute on it. Is well, I'm I'm going to saute it in butter. Okay. And and just make the pasta and you put it over the pasta. Now, when you were asking about in, about intimate evenings, yes, this is a very romantic meal. Shrimp. It is. Yes, shrimp and pasta. Shrimp is good. Yes. The man loves shrimp. Listen, hey guys. So I think she knows a little bit. You know, I'm cooking something that I know he loves. There you go. And then my kids will eat and it is healthy. So it's a romantic it's thing. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this function. You know, yeah, you put it on a tray, yeah. feed the man. Yeah. That's five minutes of intimacy. That's five minutes we didn't have before. Right. So I'm ready. And you can do it in all centers around the kitchen. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. what I love to see. Now, okay, so we got some pot, I mean, some, some Parmesan cheese here. Fresh Parmesan cheese is very important. Do you, you have this on hand usually? Not always, okay. but uh, when we have it, it goes quickly. Yes. Because it just, it's such a people who haven't tried it. It is it just good stuff. so different. Yeah. You haven't had Parmesan until you've grated it yourself. Fresh, fresh. Oh my gosh, it's wonderful. It's lovely. See, you have to get yourself one of these graters, guys. Because if you're having fresh Parmesan cheese at the home, this is this is it right here. And and I know exactly what she means. That's great. So we have some uh, pasta here. We and this is multi-grain. Multi-grain, okay. So you you put a little healthy twist on it. Well, I've tried every wheat pasta that's on the market. Yes. And some of them, honestly, just don't taste as good. I've even tried with a little chicken stock in the water to flavor it up, you know. But I found this one recently, okay. and it is delicious. We've even tried spinach pasta, oh, yeah. which all the boys, the, our two sons, love. Yeah. But I didn't like the spinach pasta with the shrimp, so we're, we're going to do the multi-grain that really tastes good. So good. We got some things going on. We know what we're going to do, so we're going to dive right into All right. some shrimp. We have washed our hands already. We have indeed. And, you know, Cook's hands always, uh, you know, it's TV magic, folks. Come on. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you know, when, when working with shrimp, you, you have shell on. So we want to make sure that, you know, we're doing this properly. And it's a really simple way to peel shrimp, and I kind of want to show you. I want to kind of stretch this guy out here mm -hmm. and uh, just this underbelly. And if you know this, you know, let me know because sometimes we know this stuff. Um, but you just take it and you just kind of pop them off. Okay. And there's, you know, two main joints uh, in a shrimp. That's, that's I didn't even know that had joints. Okay. Sometimes there's going to be three main sections that okay. you're going to be able to peel. So you just take that. And these are pre de veined guys. Now you can get this in uh, grocery stores where they're already de veined. And basically, the vein, well, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you kind of want to get it out of there in most cases. Don't want to eat the vein. Don't really want to eat yeah. that too much. So you just go ahead and take that, you know, a paring knife, and you just take, make a small incision on the back, kind of just like they did, and just run it under some cold water okay. to get mm -hmm. that vein out. And then we're good. Now, I noticed something right away. Yes. You're leaving the tail on. Yes, absolutely. Because, you know, what you want to do is you want it to have, a, when you're doing an intimate occasion, see, mm -hmm. this is where I come in. When you're doing an intimate occasion, you want it to be a little more elegant. So that tail is going to add just a touch, a touch of elegance. Okay. And it's going to add a little more flavor oh, to your base okay. sauce when, you, when you're sauteing. Okay, your good. Do we rinse them? Yes, you want to eat Okay. Some? 